Now, news from the chipmaker Intel. The group has unveiled its latest processor, codenamed Ivy Bridge. The chip will use a 22 nanometer manufacturing process, which means it's going to be more powerful than their previous chips. The new processors will potentially mean more powerful computers and longer life for mobile batteries. Well, Daniel Emery is our technology reporter who has been following the story and is the king of geeks. I, I, I am. Daniel, how does this work? Right. In essence, your computer chip has got lots of switches on it, millions and millions of switches, uh, which are known as transistors. Uh, and they're measured, as you said, in, in nanometers. Now, a nanometer is one billionth of a meter. So these are pretty small. A human hair is 60,000 nanometers in thickness. These chips, switches are, well, they were 32 nanometers. They're now 22 nanometers. They're pretty small. What's interesting about this new chip is that the way that they lay these switches down, on every other silicon chip, and we'll do a little demonstration here. Let's have a look. If Let's you have imagine, a look at how this If works. you imagine this is a bit of a chip, each switch is, is flat, it's two-dimensional, so you can only get, say, that many switches in a space. What they've done is they've actually moved into the third dimension. So they've raised these switches up. So you can basically get, as you can see, in this space we went from one, we can now get three on there. It's almost like it's three-dimensional. Well, it is three-dimensional. Mm. The switch is now up there, so the surface area of the switch stays the same, but you can get more per, per unit area. It looks very pretty, but... Why are they doing this? Well, th the new growth area for chips now is, is the smartphone market. You think about it, most people now have computers at home. And apart from people that play video games, the demand for better and faster computers has waned. On the smartphone market, of course, that demand is massive. Now, there's actually a British firm called ARM that have, have pretty much cornered the smartphone market. They're one of Britain's sort of unsung heroes. Most smartphones, in fact, all the Apple phones, have got British design chips in them. Intel wants a slice of that market. So they're trying to make this chip, which is a more powerful chip, to, to do that. Now, you can either use this new chip to make a more powerful chip, or you can use it to do what the same chip, or the older chips did, but for less power. So that basically means that your mobile phone, rather than running out in four or five hours, could last eight, nine, 10, or 11 hours. That would be a good thing. That would be a very good thing. And it would be a very profitable thing, because suddenly, longer battery life, everyone would go for you it. You talked about sizes. How small can these things actually get? Well, size is everything up to a point, but there is a finite size. Um, an atom is five nanometers in size, so there is a limit. But, you know, we're going to see these shrinking down still further. Okay, Daniel Emery, good to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed.